we'd be spending the next few weeks completing Scotland's North Coast 500, and this time we'd be taking our two dogs with us, who can both best be described as neurodivergent. Our planning for this trip, well, Bridget's planning for this trip, had been long and extensive, and I've got to say that Robbie Rome's book and YouTube channel do deserve a massive shout out, as they were both central to much of our decision making. Travelling up from Bath in the southwest of England would be staying the night south of the Scottish border before picking up a rented camper van south of Edinburgh. From there we would proceed in an anti-clockwise direction around Scotland's north coast, extending our journey to include both Glencoe and Falkirk. I would love to say that the near 400 mile journey from Bath to Edinburgh that marked the beginning of our adventure had been incident free, but alas, this was simply not the case. Instead of heading into Scotland, we were now heading towards a nearby garage in Ilkley. We haven't got any brakes. Okay, good to know. So, um, Scotland adventure starts off at quick fit. All the best adventures do. Yeah. During the first leg of our journey north, we'd been forced to perform an emergency stop on the motorway. The brake pads on the Nissan were shot to pieces, and it was clear that our Scottish road trip may be coming to an abrupt end. Quick fit. You can't get quicker than a quick fit, you? They're the boys to trust. Yeah. So the brakes are fixed. Uh, and we're now on our way to Edinburgh, which is going to take three and a half hours. time I'd driven a vehicle of Isla's size, for that was the name of the camper van apparently, it was about 30 years ago, and my brain being what it is, some worries were beginning to surface. So we're about 14 minutes away from Inverness, uh, I'm beginning to get used to driving this now, but my back's killing me, and I've lost the most feeling in that hand because I was just the steering wheel too tight. So the things I'm still worried about, uh, how easy is it going to be to park this thing at the various places we're going to? So if we're going for a walk, is it easy to park it? And, yeah, diesel as well. I'm not sure how expensive diesel is. Is it expensive? We've been driving for about seven mm. hours. Is it seven hours now? Oh, forever. Inverness marks the official start of the NC500. Just to underline our contrariness, we decided to tackle the route in an anti-clockwise direction, moving from campsite to campsite on a daily basis. Our first port of call was the R Tower Caravan Park, and I've got to say that its toilets and facilities were some of the best I've encountered on such a site. Despite the confusing situation, both Quincy and Colombo seemed to acclimatise relatively quickly to their new accommodation. We were up early the next morning. Having already plotted our route and various stops during the evening, it wasn't long before we'd packed up and were back on the road and on our way once more.
Isla's first destination that morning was Shannonry Point, a mere 17 miles from Inverness. Shannonry Point sits on the edge of Shannonry Ness and is regarded as one of the best spots in the UK to spot bottlenose dolphins. without saying that we didn't spot one, not one dolphin. Did we see any dolphins? No. no. They're out there. They're out there. But why would they why would they put on a show? Yeah. It's not sea world, is it? After a disappointing no show by the dolphins, we headed just up the road to Ferry Glen Falls. We'd been told that there was some debris further along the track, so we opted to cross over the stream. You did a better job than I did. Thoughts on the uh, crossing? Well, we can't cross, can we? So we're going to cross back again. Yeah. You're tangled, aren't you? I don't even know how you. I don't even know how you've done that. Good walk. It's a good walk. I don't know if there's still more. Is there? Well, uh, there's people coming back from something, so you know. Oh, well done. It's a good, good full full. Better than the one in Coney we walked to. And less bears. Um, I've got a wet foot, is the only problem. And uh, it's a bit rocky. The little dogs had trouble climbing the rocks. But, you know, apart from that, it was good. It's good. It's not raining. Quincy is what's called a reactive dog. He comes across as aggressive, particularly towards other dogs, when really he's just terrified of everything. With this in mind, I was willing each new camper van that arrived with a dog to just keep on moving, rather than take the plot next to us. It will make everyone's lives easier in the long run. Sorry, the, they've got a dog. They're going to come and park here. They're, How dare they? They're going to come and park here. How dare they? Keep moving. How dare they? Keep moving. The driving. It was alright yesterday when I was on the motorway for three hours mm -hmm. and you just had to put your foot on the accelerator and then you discovered there was a sixth gear which kind of made it better. It goes up to 11. It does go up to 11. Um, but then we had the thing today after we went to the ferry place of uh, trying to reverse out the parking lot and that was a bit scary because it's too big. I can't see where all the corners are. I'm not enjoying it enjoying it yet. Do you think you will do? Yeah, probably. By about day five. Okay, just weighing up my options.
Lips. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were arguing about oh. jokery. Up early, we were on our way once more. A long-term destination was John O'Groats, stopping at a few points of interest along the way. For the record, uh, I reversed into this space, um, and there's been no incident. It's always fun to try and get the dogs to pose for a photograph. When Quincy is nervous and subdued, his younger counterpart, Columbo, gets overly excited to the point where he can't follow simple instructions. Columbo, stay, no. Stay, Columbo. stay, sit. Um, next fear has been picked off. I filled up with diesel. Um, it went okay. Everyone was really nice. Um, and it happened without incident or embarrassment, so that was good. And we've just been on a walk, and it's probably my favourite walk so far. Well, it's a good walk. Well, it's just a good walk. The dogs were afraid of the bridges, but apart from that, it's good. It's good. Nine out of ten, would recommend. Yeah, where are we going now? Um, the steps, while it goes steps. Oh, the steps that the, also, the dogs will also be afraid of. 365 steps down 365, to the sea. We're going to lose some weight. Okay. Steps. How many do you think they're on? 365. Okay. I think we've done about 20. 20. Are you still counting? You got vertigo. You got vertigo. Probably wasn't a good idea, really, was it? If you no, get it's vertigo. It's fine. It's fine. You go fish your fears, haven't you? Yeah. Dogs have got to do bridges. Got vertigo. Surrounded on three sides by 250 foot cliffs, Wallago Haven is regarded as one of the most remarkable harbours to be found in all of Scotland. The dogs cope remarkably well with the steps, possibly more so than Bridget did. Thoughts on the steps? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We're just staying here. Uh -huh. Okay. This is our new home now.
Castle Sinclair was only a further 20 minutes up the road. Three miles north of Wick, the site actually contains the ruins of two castles, one built in the 15th century and the other in the 17th. final destination that day, John O'Groats, the most distant point on the mainland from Land's End. So, just parked up successfully with John O'Groats. Um, yeah, it's nice. You happy with where we are? Yep. Yeah. I like this campsite. Yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Been really well behaved. So do I. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Pitch taken. Yeah. Well done. Where well, we had zero luck with the annoying dolphins at Shannery Point, we had plenty of luck with the grey seals at John O'Groats. Our camper van's location providing us with the perfect viewing spot to watch them playing just offshore. So we're sitting here, mm -hmm. not sitting here, watching the ships roll in and roll out again. What's your favourite thing about today? Okay, so I liked the walk to the waterfall this morning. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was called now. Big, big... Big burn... I can't balls. remember. I can't remember. We need to write this all down, don't we? I know. But yeah, so I liked that very much. And the dogs like that as well, because it was early. We didn't really see anybody else on the walk, only a couple of other people and the dogs like that. And it was a really easy walk with a really pretty waterfall at the end. And I liked the barmaid at the bar we went to in John O'Groats, who made us laugh a lot. An Englishman asked, what do you call those? What do you call those Scottish houses? And she said, Scottish houses? 